What is up all you GBA top people? This is Tom. I'm here bringing you guys one of my favorite parts of every single season, every single year, and that is the GBA D-League is coming back for season four. This part of the, of the year is what I look forward to because I like looking for the next unknown guy that comes out of nowhere. Guys like Septile MC, guys like uh, like Miguel, you know, that really leave an impression with the vast majority of fans that do enjoy the, D, uh, the, the GBA. Start with the D-League and work their way up into the main league. Now, I'm not alone like I was, you know, last time I did this video. I am with someone, someone I have a lot of respect for, someone who I highly enjoy his content in and outside of the D-League and the GBA, and someone who I can call a good friend of mine. How's it going, guys? Thanks for the introduction, Tom. This is Jolt from the Token Minorities, and I'm happy to be here. I'm very excited to have Jolt with me to express, you know, explain this video for this this uh, upcoming season of the D-League. I know Jolt has a very, you know, special uh, place in his heart for the D-League, and I, I do. <laughs> we're gonna go into the video. We're gonna explain a lot of things that maybe haven't really changed from from last year. Some very small nuance changes, and with those changes, we want you guys to pay attention. Just be attentive to those details, and what we want to find is the best possible applicant that can come out of this season's D League. We are in talks with the the main league there, um, just so that we can kind of get some sort of parameters about how we add people uh, from the D League. You know, what numbers, what structure. It's uh, it's in it, it's something that wasn't necessarily done uh, for the last D League, and Jill can kind of attest to this. Uh, basically. We're, we're going to set up a structure so that a lot like many of the other like minors leagues, there is some sort of purpose, some sort of um, legitimization and some sort of like drive for the, the D-League members to strive after. Not guaranteed, but to strive for. All right. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the questions here. Uh, so we start off with some pretty simple ones. First off, what's your name? Uh, doesn't have to be like your, you know, in life, in real life name. It could just be your screen name. That's fine. Uh, just something we can refer to you as. We want to know your email address as well, so that we can contact you, uh, as well as your Discord handle, which would be the primary way that we contact you. Uh, so whenever you provide us with your Discord information, make sure to also include the uh, four little digits next to your Discord username, so you can usually find that by just. Uh, on Discord, like click on your username and it should pop up with your name and then four little digits. Uh, just make sure to include those as well so that we can search for you pretty easily in the GBA fan server or wherever we uh, share servers with you. Uh, that'd be probably the easiest way for us to contact you. Uh, also, just drop your Twitter links, your YouTube links, other ways that we can contact you or maybe check out your content uh, in the case of your YouTube link. And also, just let us know what time zone you're in, uh, where are you from, just gives us an idea of what our personnel might look like if you were selected for the uh, GBA D-League Season 4. Next up, we have questions that, that have to do a lot with the software and the hardware that you use for your recording, your editing, things like that. Do you use, you know, for your for your editing, do you use OBS? Do you use Adobe? Do you use Camtasia? Uh, can, do you, can you work with graphics? Can you use Photoshop? Can you use GIMP? And then when you record, do you have like a microphone? Do you have like a headset, like a Logitech headset? Or do you record on potato? We're not judging. The idea is you just want to get an idea of what you're working with and what exactly you have that you can utilize each week for, your rec for recording purposes and editing. And then finally, just because this is a Wi-Fi predominant uh, league, and there are going to be mandatory weekly uploads uh, each week, so we do require all coaches have a 3DS as well as a copy of Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, and it's highly, highly recommended that you have beaten the game. You've gotten the Mega Bracelet. Don't be like Mono. Don't be like me. Don't be like George. Don't be like, you know, uh, Joe Swagliff in the past, people who have forgotten their Mega Bracelets and have, or maybe haven't, luckily been bitten for it also just to ensure that you have like all the uh the the z move crystals on that i know i didn't have uh last season of the gba but just have everything so that you know you can ad uh, adequately compete with the rest of the coaches yeah shout out to george last season winning without using a single z crystal <laughs> yeah that's true yeah, definitely would recommend you have access to those. It does help a little bit to add Z-moves. So on to the next set of questions. So this one's pretty simple. How did you hear about the D-League? If it's just from this video, let us know. Uh, maybe you referred to the D-League application by a friend, maybe by a coach. The GBA or maybe even in last season's D-League would be interested in hearing that as well. Uh, the next question, which is probably the most important a uh, raw question on the entire application, at least in my eyes, and that is, why do you want to join the D-League? 
Um, so that's that's one question that I personally on my application last time around spent a a pretty thorough response and you know I ended up getting into the D-League so maybe you could take my advice there and try to do the same for uh, for your answers as well but don't just babble on either make sure everything you say has some substance to it but yeah basically just what we're looking for there is your genuine reasons as to why you want to be a part of the D-League and uh, for this third question here what are your weekly responsibilities do you have to go to work do you have to worry about school homework uh, do you have your own YouTube upload schedule uh, just some stuff that we want to know so that we have an idea of how for how much free time you might have on your hands uh, to be able to take on the responsibilities of the league and even if you are really busy just be honest about it and maybe just put on a note that uh, if you really do feel like you still have the time despite all these responsibilities uh, to, to be in the D league just just let us know about that as well next up we want to know about your draft league experience uh, we want to know whether you're in a smaller league you know whether it's uh, one of those un an unknown friendly league or developmental league or you know whether it's it's you know like mid-size or it's a very well known like your your ppl mpl gba things like that so we want to know if it was on showdown if it was on wi-fi we also want to know your your overall record your differential and if you were able to win a championship or a league title you know put that down as well to be clear and something that i've received questions on while this is a draft league we have had other coaches submit videos that weren't necessarily draft uh, specific. As a matter of fact, one person that does come to mind is Magic Activator. He did provide a very, very good Wi-Fi battle where he used, where he, he, he baton passed Calm Minds into a Scrafty and ended up winning with Grass Not Scrafty. Very, very cool video and had nothing to do with Draft League. So if you are someone who competes in VGC in, in, on Smogon on the Ladder, if you compete in singles casuals on Wi-Fi, if you, if you compete in Battlespot, if you compete in, you know, and you're new to League, but you want, you think that you are a damn good fit for the GBA, apply here. You know what? But give that video that we're going to explain in a second, prove it to us why that experience that you may not have in League can transfer over to this, uh, this League format. So just again, just look over what we're asking for. And something that was mentioned that I like to mention personally, kind of structure it so that it's organized. If when you're separating, you know, your different leagues, you know, one is your ABC league and your DEF league, separate it so that you have like your league, the league name, some Wi-Fi showdown, your record and differential, and then when you move on to the next one, separate it somehow, whether it's with slashes or like a line break or something, just so that it's it's separated because a lot of this information gets moved onto a Google Doc, which is what we use to kind of screen and judge and compare. And a lot of that information is a little bit harder to uh, to coordinate if it's uh, kind of all over the place or it's not nicely organized in your application video or your application, I should say. All right. So then for the final request on this season's application, uh, another application video will be required for this season, just like we had in the application for season three of the D-League. Uh, for those of you who applied for it last time around, you'll know exactly how this is supposed to go. But just to reiterate, and maybe uh, let people know who haven't heard about this before, the, uh, the video is required to be 7 to 14 minutes in length and should be uh, uploaded as unlisted on your YouTube channel. Now, whenever you're filling out the application, if you haven't recorded the video yet, that's fine. Uh, either on the, on the response line for this question, give us the link right away if you've already recorded it, or uh, you can always just submit the link to the GBA's email uh, instead where you can do the, the, G, the uh, email is gbaoff at gmail.com. You can see it on your screen, uh, but yeah, you can send it there with your name and in the, uh, in the subject line so that we know that you've sent us that, uh, that video link through the email. But also if you are doing that, just let us know that's what you are doing as well uh, on the answer for that, app, for that question, uh, just so there's no ambiguity as to if you're actually going to do it or if you're just saying okay, uh, that you uh, might <laughs> make a video and don't actually do it. Just let us know what your plan is basically is according to Tom there's been several several answers that are just those two letters okay instead of actually giving an yep. actual uh, actual video do that. so uh, yeah don't do that but the overall point of the video is to showcase your knowledge and your skill in the format as well as your narrating abilities and so just keep all that in mind make sure those are really well featured in the video that you choose to submit uh, it also gives us a bit of a feel for the quality of your microphone as well uh, as that's something that could come into play for the uh, final decision as to which coaches make it into the gba d-league season four 
We weren't clear last year just because uh, I didn't I didn't specify whether it had to be your own battle or someone else's, or maybe I did. But a lot of people were, were giving in videos of them narrating someone else's ability, like a, a fan of a GBA coach they, that they may really like. And the problem with that is that they were kind of just acting like a third party. They were just saying, no, this coach goes for this and this coach goes for that. And they, they didn't really give a thorough process as to why they were commentating or what they observed. So we suggest your own video now just so that we can get we can get into your head and understand why you make plays or why you played the way you did or why you saved them on or why you made a certain play that gave you the win or the loss. Um, and oh, that's kind of the purpose why we changed it. And also, 7 to 14 minutes. We're going to move on. I cannot express how excited I am to find people that aren't as known uh, or people who uh, haven't had the opportunity to really showcase themselves and to really get get them into the the limelight and to give them that that fighting chance to be in the gba d league i know we found some really great talent we had people like jolt we had people like Aster move their way up to the d to the gba main we had people like miguel and septile mc who ended up getting for, starting in the d league moving the way up in the gba main and i know there's going to be many other people that are going to follow in that same path uh like i said earlier in the video this is Something that I am super excited about. Joel is super excited about. I am. <laughs> just to re just to re clarify, application is due Saturday, April twenty first at three a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. This is to accommodate all people on the West Coast of the United States, so that it's midnight on Saturday, so that you know any sort of ample time. If you are passionate about joining the D League, do not wait till the last minute. Uh, get your applications in, but do it well. We want to see your best efforts in however you decide to present your application. We want to see the best possible you that you can be in these applications. So submit and impress. That's what I'm, that's my advice to everyone listening to this video. But we're gonna get out of here. The application is gonna open right as we drop this video. You're gonna see it first link in the description about five times. That's why I know I'm gonna paste it about five times. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to, uh, to you know, come find me in the GBA Discord, to come find me on Twitter. Or to just you know PM me. I have no problems answering uh, comments or any sort of questions in my PMs, and I'm open to any question as long as you are not a bag of bricks, because then I want to hit you with a bag of bricks. So if you have a question, just be diligent about it and don't waste my time, because I know I don't want to waste yours. So that is going to be us. Thank you, Jolt, for joining me. Tom really tells it like it is. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me, and I really am excited for seeing people in this season of the GBA D-League. I know it didn't sound too genuine before, but uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing who all comes out and applies. I know there's a lot of hidden gems out in the community, and I uh, hope we can see some uh, new faces here. And I know we had about 250 applications last time, so hopefully we can hit that number. Actually, let's exceed that number. So we're going to go. Thank you all for listening. Thank you, Joel, for joining me, and we will see you guys soon for the next season of the GBA D-League.